Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to start our build of the uh, brushless um, uh, conversion of the CMAX. I had to think about that for a minute. So, uh, one of the things, the instructions leave a lot to be desired. Um, they look pretty, uh, and I really like how to blind remote controller to quadcopter and everything. But uh, it still leaves a lot out, so I've deduced a couple different things. So, firstly, this piece, this bracket piece, goes in what would appear to be upside down, uh, like this. And there's see, there's a small screw opening. I'll see if I can zoom in on it. Mates with this uh, opening, and then this pops in here. You might have to flex the body just a wee bit, not a lot, and then it should lock in there. And then you'll have to put the screws in. The orientation of this also appears, because this will mount on top, appears to go in this direction. There are no indicators on the board itself, so that's a little bit of a challenge, but I think I've deduced that. And then I believe the motors are, I believe these are counterclockwise, and I'll correct anything um, in, in the, um, you know, in the title below if I have to change anything. I believe these are counterclockwise. And I believe these silver ones are clockwise. So they'd go into an orientation a bit like this. Uh, so, and it looks like the way it's set up is the clockwise and counterclockwise. Notice the order of the wires, how they're coming out. So I believe this is what's going to set it. So the, they'll just be a straight plug-in uh, to the electronic speed controllers. Because normally what you do to make to make one clockwise is you simply reverse two of the wires. So I, I think they've already done that, what it appears. So it'll just be a straight plug-in to these, which will sit in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump to a bit of a time lapse as I assemble all this. Because I think I've laid out the idea for you. And so you can kind of see how everything goes together. Oh, just kind of one note. Uh, the daughter board here I put in just use, uh, utilizing the screws that were originally came with it. Um, they're just large head screws and they hold the piece, whoops, this piece in here like this. So you have the switch and the control for the camera. So what we do again is jump to a time lapse and then you can watch me build it and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it after I get it everything basically assembled. Okay, so we're back. Um, pretty much got the kit assembled. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, more wire management. A couple things that I want to share. So, um, one, it's been a while since I've worked on the SEMA. So the motors actually attach with two screws down here. And they're the shorter ones rather than the longer ones. 
Um, and you probably noticed I had a little bit of a trouble with one of the screws in the bottom of the motor. Uh, and, and I had to put some Loctite on it to get it hold in there. It wasn't the best fit, but uh, there's definitely two other ones holding it, so should not be an issue. Um, so got that all fixed. Um, I couldn't find, to hold the LEDs in, I had to use the original screws that came with it. I couldn't find a replacement set. I don't know why they give you this sort of ton of screws over here. So as you see, I didn't use very many. I used the... Uh, the uh, flange screws to hold the control board down. Notice the orientation. The wires seem a little bit wanky on the, um, I know my British uh, friends will enjoy that one, uh, seem to be a little bit, you know, strange on here. In other words, they're not equidistant, but it shouldn't be a problem either. Just tuck this in. So again, I'm going to do a little bit more wire management on this before I button it up. Um, so, again, I just kind of wanted to show you guys all the different pieces. Outside of that, it went together pretty straightforward. Um, if I didn't have to mess with figuring out the motor screws and looking for the screws for this, you could probably do this under a half hour. So I have probably about, uh, the time lapse was probably about an hour, a little bit less, maybe about 45 minutes. So it's a fairly quick build on the blank chassis. So, uh We'll turn it over. So I'm going to put the covers on. Now, oh, one of the other things I forgot to mention. When you go to slide these in, um, you have to slide it in from the hole, put the LED, then kind of slide it back, and then slide it down. Uh, it took me a while to kind of figure that out. And then you can kind of bend them down like this. Um, they kind of get bent up when I was doing it. So, But that's, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, the rest of it is pretty much just building it you know building the shell back on it so um, I tell you what I'm not going to bore you with that part because I just wanted to show adding the brushless stuff if you've taken it apart to this section you would know how to put the case together and the lens covers on and that kind of stuff um, also this screw here I use a small screw for this guy uh, to go in here to hold everything and I believe this is the correct orientation we'll have to test it out so in the next video what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do the uh, remote control piece so uh, we'll come back in another video do that and then we'll bring it all back together in the third video and give it a test flight so anyways, hopefully you found this interesting and if you have any questions hit me up below I'll also have a link to this kit below if you're interested in it if you ever see my uh, I'm building it on a blank kit I've had this frame as an extra frame and so I'm just you know building it afresh on this And so if you want to do that I also have links for that below got it off eBay super cheap uh, Kind of highly recommend it and again you can build your own for the kits about a hundred bucks and for yeah, the other pieces, you're probably talking 30, 40 bucks. So for under 150 bucks, you can build this uh, brushless copter. So anyways, if you found it interesting as I did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget, the subscribe button will be coming up over there. Uh, comment below if you have any questions. And hey, we'll see you in the next video when we do the remote control. Cheers.